Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Elite Dangerous live stream here at youtube.com forward slash Elite Dangerous forward slash live. And tonight, uh, I'm joined by the wonderful, the bespectacled. That's me. The, the wonderful bespectacled. That's your name. That is, the the wonderful, that is my defining the feature. Bespectacled. I, I wear glasses, yes. And you are also the director of, or art director of, Elite Dangerous. Both of those things, yes. <laughs> you I fulfill both things. of those roles. Both of those um, roles, both those tasks. Hello, everybody, and uh, good to see everyone. We have uh, so many lovely names in the chat. I mean, hold on a second. We've got Gamer Order, Lenyak, we've got Osric42, Pringles, Orange Spark, The Pro Rock PL, Cocalorix, Alec Turner, Merg, Jester D. Oh, Jester D's in the house. Smoker Toker, Paul Archer, Ballistic Swift. Hello. <laughs> all of the best ones are the gang's all there. right oh, here. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, good to see everybody, uh, and thank you for, for, for joining us tonight here on the, on the YouTube channel. Um, Chris? Yes? It's been a while since you've been on. It's been a little while, I've not been showing you digs. This, this is all very this nice, all very cool, swank. It? Yeah. It's alright, mm -hmm. it's, again, it's, we're not even in the downstairs studio properly mm. yet. So this is still the overspill room, but it still looks much like nice. You've got a green screen big enough to film 1970s Doctor Who in here. It's, 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 it's quite <laughs> yeah, impressive. Yeah, we could film really, it entirely. It's, it's very what, good. And what do you mean? We're, a, we're in a fair delight. Oh, I'm sorry, we're, we're in, in space. space. I forgot. My bad. Oh, my bad. Gosh, I've gosh, given gosh, the game gosh. away. Sorry. Well, tonight uh, we've brought Chris on to talk through the Hollow Ad competition that we've been running for. Ooh, it might be a couple of months now that we've actually had this it's going. It's been going for a little while. Yeah, we wanted to give people time to to generate these assets. It's not yeah. a usual competition. It takes a bit of effort to get these done. So yeah, yeah. we need to give some time. These are, and I'll run through what the actual competition was in a minute, but essentially the hollow ads, if you don't know what they are in the game, they are the holographic adverts that you see uh, when you're leaving the station. Or, Absolutely. Or, 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 so they were one of the things yeah. that we, really early on we wanted to put into the game because we felt they were a good way of putting a bit of life into the stations, a little bit of movement and colour, uh, and a little bit of narrative and the occasional joke as well. So uh, they've been in the game since day one I think mm -hmm. um, but we've always wanted to add more and this felt like it was a good way of doing that so by good way you mean of course asking the community inviting the community yes. uh, our awesome engaged community to basically uh, put together some ideas we've seen that they've made stuff you right. lot you yes. lot are a a creative bunch. Well, exactly. So we're always looking on Reddit, we're always looking at people's uh, elite fan art mm. and creations that they make, mm -hmm. and there's some really, really strong stuff out there. So it was actually one of our artists, I believe, uh, Simon Brewer, who some of you, uh, whose name some of you may recognise. He's one of our, our lead technical artist, and he is the guy who was responsible for actually wrangling all of the original um, holograms oh. into the game and uh, it was his idea I think that if we wanted to add more it might be worth sort of crowdsourcing that a little bit and asking our players to come up with some ideas and indeed some graphics that would actually um, be submitted uh, and judged by a small team of us here at uh, uh, Frontier Towers and then um, there's no tower, and then um, <laughs> David's tower in the indeed. middle. <laughs> um, and then the winners will actually make it into the game, and we're going to see mm. some of those tonight. Yes, we're going to well show off all of the winners tonight, and uh, I think it's safe to say that uh, we've picked more than you originally thought you were going to. Well, going into this, we didn't really have a hard number that we were going to announce. We mm -hmm. didn't know how many we would get, how many responses we'd get, and how many of those would be sort of suitable to mm -hmm. eligible to actually put into the game. So uh, the good news was there was a lot of really strong entries. Um, so we've chosen quite a few. I'm not sure of the exact numbers, but it's 20... I, I think I have 25, 25 here to show today. 25 okay, so to today. Yeah, 25 win, uh, mm -hmm. winning entries there. So that's, uh, that's good. And they're going to go into the game proper. You'll see them out about yep. other people will see them so this is a and again, and again a first if, really we'll talk about um criteria for choosing them sure. when you were choosing the winners but it is important to note it note here that if you didn't get in there it wasn't because they were bad it's because that they might not have worked for all the particular in-game style or they may have been too complex and and couldn't literally cannot be put in the game in the way that's make it look good in that style with the for the holographic arts. Yeah, absolutely. As as in, anyone who entered this competition will know, there were a series of sort of um, restrictions and uh, and uh, tenues that you had to do in order mm. to make your uh, entry eligible and not only eligible but actually suitable to get into the game. So um, there was definitely some some nice designs in there, but they just wouldn't have worked when we when mm. we got them in. And and also we wanted to try and preserve a little bit of the um, the sort of in world. 
feel of Elite, so we didn't want anything that broke that fourth wall mm -hmm. too too heavily. So mm -hmm. um, that's why you, I think you'll see the ones we've chosen. Um, yeah, yeah. The ones I, that, uh, I think they're the all uh, very very nice. Uh, uh, Will and the community team also uh, yeah. sat in on the on the choices. Absolutely. I had a little look in as well and said which ones were my favourites. Yourself, there was people from Design. Uh, Simon, were... uh, si uh, Steve uh, from Design as well had a had a look over yep. them, and then finally, of course, all approved by uh, by Lawrence, our game director, as well. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. And can, can I say also, by the way, um, thank you everyone for coming along to uh, to the stream tonight. We uh, this is just a uh, well, it's a nice way of visually showing off what, uh, who the winners were, but also a nice chance to talk to Chris. So if there is a couple of minutes at the end, we'll all we'll be able to maybe ask a couple of questions to the chat. Um, Absolutely. You, uh, I will ask you in just a second about what you're working on for uh, three for the next one for three point two. Of I'm course, sure. I'll be able to tell you everything. Uh, I, yeah, I've been sanctioned to just lay it all out, all 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 cards on the table. Everything. That's not true. Chris cannot say everything. I but can't but say anything. genuinely, thank you so much for, for for coming to watch these streams and and keeping up with us. Uh, we've got loads of information and interesting things to share with you in the coming weeks. Uh, obviously, keep an eye out on the usual channels, the forums, uh, Twitter, Twitch, all those things. I'm sorry we've not been on live streams this week. I'm actually feeling a tiny little bit under the. I'm sorry to I'm announce this to you right now, but I'm finding a I'm feeling. I'm feeling it's easy for me to say. I'm feeling a tiny bit under the weather as well. Uh, and Will has been off, <laughs> and uh, we're all feeling a little. So if you go down fragile. during the live stream, I've, I've got to jump You've in. You've got to jump in and take, take over. That's, that's not going to be You've good got to for jump anyone. In and take over. <laughs> but that's the reason be. why we've not been on the streams uh, this this past week. Uh, but we'll be back. Uh, with 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 plenty more and plenty more information. And again, keep an eye on all the usual channels for for that. And uh, yeah, I mean, from from your perspective, mm. Elite is just as busy as it ever has been, if not more. Uh, Non-stop really is. Um, so yeah, we've got a, as big a team as ever, if not bigger in some regards, um, mm. to to deal with the stuff that we're currently working on. And uh, lots of the stuff that we showed at Expo, mm -hmm. uh, we're currently working on bringing to fruition and, and mm -hmm. actually working on those elements. We can go into. A little bit of that. So, so the asteroids. Do you want to? Well, go. I mean, I haven't got any imagery to show right now. No, there's but... nothing to see. Um, um, this is not uh, necessarily that forum, but if it, just Do as it. a quick update, tell them. Um, Let the people I can know. say that I have seen. Um, I've seen a. I mean, if you were asteroid, you hadn't seen it. <laughs> I've seen a detonating asteroid, and more importantly, I've heard one. Oh. And as always, our our sound designers and uh, sound team are working wonders with that. That sounds epic. Before we started, um, I did my impression of it. Do you want to do that again? It was, wanna, wanna, wanna no, because you said it was too good. Go for it. You know what? It's spoiling it, isn't it? It's sort of like Go a. On. <laughs> I mean, again, I think that was a little too accurate. You've just basically given uh, it away. I'm sorry, everyone. It's and got a little. In <laughs> fact, you might you might want to get in touch with you and see if he wants to record you to replace the sound effects in and the game. Like a... that, was, that was very good. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's awesome, and then we also saw some of the sort of the improvements to the light, the lighting system overall, right? Absolutely, yeah. All of that is being is being balanced and worked on. So, so there's a lot of uh, moving parts in Elite to get right, and we want to make sure that any changes we make are very carefully considered mm -hmm. and are really in a, a big improvement. So, mm -hmm. it's uh, that's kind of what we're in uh, on a day to day basis at the moment, trying to get all of that ready, uh, as well as looking at uh, sort of uh, future things as well. Ooh, future things. Uh, so, will you come back to uh, to uh, we come back and talk to us and to everybody here in more detail when it when it is time. I think when uh, when our masters have sanctioned uh, those, uh, those <laughs> ah, things, I think, I think absolutely. It's always good to <laughs> always good to come on here and uh, sort of show you guys what we've been working on. Excellent stuff. Well, thank you very much, Chris, and thank you for coming on as well. Uh, to give you a bit of perspective, art director, what 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 does that kind of mean? Does that mean you just sort of touch every every element, every side, to every pixel, every pixel, <laughs> no. and look at everyone and go, that the pixel's uh, not correct. That's Simon, o only <laughs> on my most obsessive days. So most okay. of the time, it means that I coordinate with a uh, hugely talented team of many many artists and concept artists and visual effects artists and uh, loads of other people and uh, we all work out what we're going to do for the game based on what design I've asked for and I coordinate with those guys quite heavily as well to make sure that all of that works together and uh, that's kind of it really so I kind of more and more have more of a sort of overseeing role and there's lots of very talented people actually making assets. Oh, well, um, um, 
you're, you're playing yourself down there, but to, um, to some extent. No, so I was, I was, I was picking myself up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say, we'll find somewhere in the middle. We'll find somewhere in the middle. Mistake. No, you thought you were, but ah. you said there are, more, there are more talented people than you, and you're just sort of making the decisions. Oh, right. It was okay. that bit. Okay. It was that, that bit. bit. Well, I, I, we I walk that back. We'll carry on our <laughs> counselling session after the, uh, <laughs> after, after the live stream. All right, so thank you, uh, everybody. And um, uh, you hear that moves upon this guy, Arts. So it's Orange Park, this guy, Arts. Apparently, okay. uh, great, uh, and it's good to see everybody in the chat as well. It's been I feel I feel like um, <laughs> I feel like it's, it has weirdly been a few weeks. Anyway, so the advert specifications. Yes. For an advert to be properly can be considered, it had to adhere to the following conditions: it had to be a two-one ratio if it was landscape, and a one-two ratio if it was portrait. That's right. Uh, and anyway, uh, you had to, it was three images made up of two layers of background and foreground images that make up the advert. No, yes. sorry. Essentially, <laughs> two it, images. It, 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 people who needed to know this know this, but, but yeah, generally speaking, I think it's um, interesting. It is, it is, but, but basically, the way our, our holographic adverts are generated in game is that we sort of layer them up. So there's a background image, and sometimes that will animate and scroll around, so you get that life to them. And then there's a couple of foreground elements, so that when you fly around them in game, because you can get super close to these mm. guys and actually fly your ship through them in some cases. Um, there's a feeling of depth as you fly through them. It doesn't just look like a flat um, image on, on a single plane. So that's why there were quite a few sort of T's and C's with this one in terms mm -hmm. of um, getting uh, getting the assets right so that you can actually, for the first time, get your stuff into the game. Yeah, yeah, and and that's the the crux of this whole thing. Is it's quite an awesome moment because it's the first time that we've taken something directly from the community and actually put it into the game. Well, other than is. maybe. Uh, obviously, the, the uh, CGs and uh, player submitted. Uh, yeah, totally. Uh, in terms of stories, in terms of some of the narrative and, and event stuff, I think that's happened before. But in terms of actual assets, mm -hmm. this is the mm -hmm. first time. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Never mind the rules. Show us the Monet. Says Alec Turner. Okay. Well, funnily enough, uh, Alec Turner, thanks for joining us because you're. Uh, it's time to announce the winners. Nice. And uh, the first of 25, and it's not 25 winners, there's actually somebody, there's a couple of people who have multiple entries within it. So it's 25 yes, entries are. that we've chosen. Uh, but, but Alec Turner, uh, congratulations please in the chat to Alec Turner, who, uh, whose first image, the first image that we're going to show today, is uh, Alec's entry. Um, funnily enough, he should be here if I can find it. Here it is. And as we can see, here's a screenshot that I took earlier in the day. We are going to see it in game in just a, in just a moment, but of course we couldn't have uh, an advert in there without the Buckyball Racing Club getting a mention. And the beautiful thing about this one is, and hopefully we'll show it off later, is that the flag is animated in the background. That's exactly it. So Simon was able to add a few touches here and there like that, which again, we'll, when we have a little fly around and see them in game later on after we've announced the winners, mm -hmm. um, we will be able to see that in motion. But definitely there were a couple of entries with Buckyball, I believe. Yeah, remember rightly. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll move on to some but more we later. liked this one, I think, because it was uh, it showed the logo off nice and clearly. It's a really nicely designed logo as well, and then it had a nice uh, kind of pithy little tagline there. Mm -hmm. wasn't too complex, wasn't too um, kind of um, uh, in depth, but uh, but also got that name out there and got it into the game, which is, I think is a really cool thing. Yep. So for those who don't know, uh, the Buckyball race is obviously a point to point race. Uh, usually like an, an endurance run of sorts yep. sometimes. If you've never uh, been involved in, in Buckyball Racing, uh, you should check it out and, and get involved in it because it's very cool. Uh, I've lost my words to Alec Turner. Well, Alec Turner, that's great to hear because your post is going to be in the game. How it cool is, is that? Uh, all right, we'll move on because we've got at least 25 and we're just going to stick around as long as it takes to sort of run through these things. Uh, but this one is by, and if you are in the chat, do let us know and say, that's me, because it might be under a different name. We've just gone on by the single name that you submitted it by. Don't worry, we will not be revealing anybody's information. Uh, but this one here is by Alvaro. Uh, and very simple, don't forget your limpets. Yeah, indeed. Um, <laughs> I don't know why this has made us laugh. <laughs> uh, just, I think it's quite nice. That it's, it's quite uh, again. It's like a bit of an in, in joke. Exactly wise. that. It means something to those who uh, get it, and other people, I think, will just look at it and sort of want to find out what it means. So, so we thought that that was good. You can also see on that image as well. There's a little bit of distortion going through the letters there. That's actually because this still is captured from the live game. Oh yeah, I captured this all and from the live game. And as the yeah. uh, hologram sort of uh, transition and pulse, uh, they they have this sort of like jitter mm -hmm. to them. So we've actually taken those um, those uh, images and artworks that you provided, and we've fed them through our shaders and our things, so that all of your um, imagery and designs will actually match the look of the rest of our 
in game adverts. Fantastic, great stuff. Uh, moving swiftly on, the next one we have is from Antoine. And this one uh, has, again, this one's shimmering into life when I took the, the Absolutely, the indeed. And, but that's nice thing, because that's what makes them feel sort of like they're alive when they when they move. So this is the bank of, uh, I want to say, Zeons, yep. um, which, uh, again, is one of our in-game uh, sort of, uh, I guess, brands or, or, or in institutions, really, mm -hmm. in, the, in the world mm -hmm. of Elite. Um, so again, wanting to reflect some of those and, and have those be a bit more visible in the game felt like it was a really good idea, and we liked the fact that they sort of used our, our existing logo, but maybe dressed it up a little bit with the surrounding, uh, the surrounding elements there. And again, nice and simple, good tagline, felt like it was a convincing advert, <laughs> and uh, that's why it went in. I like that, yeah, Blackwall says, and it's gone. <laughs> As in, like, it should say, I would trust your money, and it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> or, or another one, lowest common denominator says your money, our money. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Which I think is uh, a good, well, it's another good suggestion. But and again, it's very simple, it's a, re it's a really nice one, and also it's a very, li like, like you said earlier, yeah. try to take things from the game that are sort of relevant to the game. From law, so yes, actually from, feels, from, from feels and just sort of make, a, make them a bit more uh, mm -hmm. obvious and clear in game, so that's, that's mm -hmm. why that one got through. Yeah, excellent stuff. And uh, next up we have, uh, and congratulations to Antoine, everybody. I think that looks great. If, if I think we can all agree. Uh, the next one that we have is from a. Um, I, I feel like I've missed one or skipped past one by accident, but we'll get back to it. I'm sure. Okay. Uh, and that is from uh, Casey Hunt. Now this is the first one of our uh, of the sort of the other ratio the, the right. vertical ones. yes indeed so so again in, in the game the uh, the holograms come in different flavors as we discussed you've got the horizontal and the verticals this is a good example of that and yeah this one i think it was just a really nice image and again it sort of it, it highlights gameplay and it highlights uh, events that happen in the game and, and so if I was flying around this game maybe for the first time I would actually sort of take notice maybe of that and mm -hmm. think yeah maybe I do need I uh, actually, know, it's, a it's, genuinely, it's actually quite useful. A genuinely useful one exactly uh, from uh, Casey Hunt. Thanks, Casey Hunt. And, Indeed. Uh, worth mentioning as well that we'll be contacting all of the winners individually tomorrow uh, because you do get a prize as well. You also get a paint uh, job pack as well, a uh, prize pack for, for doing this as well. Yes, this contested from a few months ago, as I was looking forward to pointing out as well for people who are asking if it's something they missed. Unfortunately, it is Ozzy. Uh, uh, okay. so. Anyway, uh, classic, uh, uh, nice. Uh, says Alec. Uh, cool. Yes. All right. Next one is from. Um, oh, let me have a look. Oh no, back to where I thought we'd missed, and this is Aiken. There we go. With again shimmering. Uh, uh, I've, take, I've taken all the screenshots. I've managed to take them it's all. Like every the time you took the, so took the shot, it was just about to change. But <laughs> the, uh, the the graphics there, and you can kind of see it. We'll show you off uh, later, and indeed you'll see them in game. So just you'll see them in their yeah. full their full glory. So um, again, this just felt like it was taking one of our brands again. So Remlock, uh, for those who may not know, is our manufacturer of our spacesuits. Uh, in the game, they're the guys who make your uh, your suits and outfits and uh, and your helmets and all that sort of stuff. The stuff that keeps you safe when you're flying that ship. Mm -hmm. uh, so using that logo was a was a nice touch. We thought, and again, just coming up with a nice tagline, it works, right? And it's it's got the nice link to dangerous. It's just good, and the um, the combination of the the background and the art fading to the um, sort of space background on one side mm. would work really well with our, our holographic shaders as well. So. Uh, yeah, we felt like this one was a, uh, a strong entry. Mm -hmm. Also worth noting as well, sorry, that we have tweaked a few of these just a little bit to make them work within the games. Uh, not the restrictions, but the, you, know, you know, make them fit on these holographic screens. Absolutely that. Um, also, uh, yeah, Lenyak uh, says, um, puts a little heart in there as well. Um, no, it's it's definitely Aiken, A-K-E-N. So it could be Aiken Bosch, that could be... Commander Aiken is all... Oh, sorry, Commander Aiken B. So that is indeed... Uh, Aiken Bosch, oh, yes, yeah. uh, and also Lenyak, of course, uh, Remlock Industries, uh, the name they adopted for their, um, their news source Oh, as well. of course, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Um, so, um, right, next one up, we've got, to, let's fire through these, because we're already at 20 past. Um, where did I get to next? Right, oh, this one's a nice one, I like this one. This one is from Commander Pasty. Commander Pasty. Okay. Uh, <laughs> which is a good name. Mm. And it's lovely. Look at this. Look at this. There we go. Name. 
so this is a. Uh, I have some information about this one. I mean, you can talk about it artistically about why why you enjoy that one from an artistic. Well, perspective. I can do, but I would say what's simple. When we were looking through these, the, one of the reasons why we needed quite a broad group to review them was that sometimes um, I was not one hundred percent aware of what, <laughs> what, it, what they it meant and what they represented. So it's been right. kind of a learning thing for me as well to actually find out what this um, yeah. Canyon Cup Rally actually is and was. But beyond that, even just looking through without necessarily knowing what it represented, it was a nice strong graphic. Mm -hmm. um, so we wanted to get that in because it would nice, be nice and bright and colourful and, and yeah. quite bold. And uh, again, just something with a different style. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Pamesh 2C is actually a, a strange and beautiful moon that looks, it had these uh, yes. it's very blue and you can kind of catch the colours there a little bit. Mm. Uh, lines running through the canyons and it was a famous place early on as well where people would go for canyon races. Yes. Uh, and it was actually, uh, and this is a bit of an in, in discussion mm -hmm. uh, situation, but it was actually changed. The canyons weren't as deep as they once were oh, right. in, after an update. Oh, that was one of, uh, definitely one of my team. Yeah, one of your team did that. Mm. <laughs> and uh, but anyway, it has since actually, and since the visualization improvements in 3.0, uh, has actually come back with a um, a beauty unlike that was me. before. Uh, that was that was great. That was me. <laughs> yeah. You did that one, yeah, that but uh, a, a lovely a lovely design, a lovely design, and uh, it just it I think it. It's just a cool sort of in community thing. Yeah, and you can go there. Yeah. You could see that advert and you could think, yeah, yeah I'm going to check that out. So, yes. This is good. Um, right, next up we have uh, Hideaki Koopman. Hideaki? Hideaki Koopman? That yeah. could very well Probably. be that person's name. Mm -hmm. uh, and Hideaki Koopman has actually got three entries. So, yes. congratulations to Hideaki Koopman. I'm so sorry if we are uh, announcing your name, you don't want it known. But hey, if you're in the chat, do say, hey, that's me. But the first one is this one here. Yes, it is. So, uh, yeah, okay. So, this was uh, Serge Kruger, one of our ship manufacturers. Um, the manufacturers mostly of our sort of passenger liner type ships, really. Mm -hmm. um, and that is one of them right there. So, again, with this one, it just felt like it was a nice choice of image and a nice classy kind of composition that reflected the sort of classy lines of the ship and the mm -hmm. executive feel of the Serge Kruger ships. No tagline as well, which I quite liked. They don't need taglines. They don't need it, yeah. yeah there's just the logo, <laughs> so that's why we felt that one was, was well thought out. As was this one, which is... Same again. there, really. Uh, it's, a little, it's a little strand of them, and uh, and again, I like the idea that maybe Sad Crude has got the money to afford these in the game, these mm -hmm. adverts. They're, mm -hmm. they're well off. They, yeah, and they don't yeah. need any taglines again. And the third one as well, of course, you have to complete the collection. Of course, yeah, we felt like we'd get all of these in because there's three ships and each one's represented. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, this was a, a nice little package, um, so in they went. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, and I think they look wonderful. So congratulations to Hideaki Koopman. If you are in here, you will be contacted as well to let you know and get your prize as well. Uh, so of course we have the Beluga Dolphin and Orca in there as well. Right, what's next? Okay, let's have a look. Did we already show? No, we did not. We did not. So this is, of course, I mean of course. Yeah, I mean you can't have, you can't, we couldn't have an advert without having this one in there, which of course is from Luke S. So right. congratulations to Luke S. We are fuel. You don't have any questions. It's the fuel rats. What, what did what did you just again? Uh, when we were looking through, there were several uh, entries for fuel rats, I believe, um, and so we chose we chose this fellow again, mainly just because it shows off the logo nice and clearly. Mm -hmm. Nice work on the logo. Whoever came up with that one, um, and it's a nice simple graphic, isn't it? Exactly, and and really the the simple sort of uh, message there felt like it would be intriguing to those who do not know what the fuel rats are and what mm -hmm. they do and maybe they would mm -hmm. find out and to those who do then it would get a little trouble as they as they see it flying by mm -hmm. i've also just noticed that the logo has got a ring around it almost as if it is the planet as well which i quite like indeed so i, I believe simon <laughs> might have added the background there on that oh one. did he <laughs> um, so well, that's, he's done a good job <laughs> exactly so uh, we tried to we tried to enhance um, and add to these where where possible Oh, DLLJS Gaming says, oh my god, that's mine. Well, that's cool. If it is. Excellent. And well done, Luke. Uh, or DLJS Gaming. Uh, it's hard with the internet. Like, everyone's got different names. And you don't know whether Multiple you're allowed to say the real ones. Or indeed. It's a minefield. The next one up is, okay, we have uh, Matt2596. Now, it's worth pointing out with Matt that he has got six <laughs> entries in there. How many? And six. Wow. And Yes, and they're all um, 
uh, completely different. So it's not even one theme. Just more, he's just. He, yes. I'm assuming Matt is is, is a uh, he, he uh, has put in six entries and they all look completely different. So let's let's look through them and then let's have a look. talk through which ones that you think. But well done, Matt, because well these done. are these are lovely. Exactly and like we said, that. we never we never said exactly how we would do it, but. Uh, there you go. So the first one here is all about well, chord, well, chord dynamics. Chord dynamics, yeah. Okay. So um, again, chord dynamics is one of our um, our, our manufacturers in the game. I think uh, our ships mainly the sort of federal leaning ones. Um, and what I liked about this was it's got a nice tagline there. It's got the it's got the logo in. But really, I like the fact that it was quite. Uh, abstracted, it was quite graphic mm -hmm. if you look at that, but it's not literal representations of our ships, the silhouettes there were really, uh, really interestingly and it's so, when we looked at some of the others and we were getting sort of more photoreal representations of some of our ships, we really wanted to have a mix mm -hmm. so these were nice strong entries which really had more of that sort of um, graphic feel to them so that's why uh, this one went in Great stuff, and also mass producing freedom is a cool tagline to go along with. Core, core well, well, exactly, which is awesome. Uh, oh, we want this next one. Um, another one from Matt two five nine six. Same reasons, really. That's that's just a nice composition. Mm -hmm. It's got that nice sort of vertical there, really using the uh, the actual. Uh, space that's available in a in a nice way, a nice progression going through from the title at the top to the image to the tagline at the bottom. It was it felt very uh, very well thought out, and also I kind of liked just the nice simple color palette there. You've just got the white, uh, the grey, and the yellow there, which again will stand out really well, and mm -hmm. as you can see, it does. So um, that was why that one went in. Excellent. Uh, and yeah, as Dan FX says, make sure to check out the Sagittarius Eye mag uh, magazine that is an online magazine that they the, they do that Matt contributes a lot of his design ah, work to. Ah, okay, uh, I see. So, yeah. Uh, and then we have this one, uh, a, a, a similar to, well, the second appearance of the Beluga. It's a popular show. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, with this one we like the fact that it was a different treatment, so it was the, uh, again, the sort of more line art feel, uh, felt that it would lend itself really nicely to going into the game. Um, nice and simple, nice and uh, uh, clean cut, so yeah, that's uh, that's a good one I think, and, and uh, again, it, it fits as a whole with the rest of some of these entries. So yeah, I'm um, sorry, Chris, do you know when these are going to be in the game? I believe this is our next update. Okay, very cool, which we haven't announced the date of yet, but hey, keep your okay. eyes and your nose peeled. Do you keep in your ears? Keep, keep your nose uh, peeled. Yeah, sure. That sounds painful. Uh, here's another one from Matt. Three more left from Matt. Yeah, so this is the Eagle. Um, and again, very it's cool. all the reasons for the other ones stand, stand the same um, on this one. It's, it's graphic, it's representing the ships, but it's done so in a way that is... Uh, uh, very sort of uh, stark and appealing and uh, yeah, abstract I think. So uh, just uh, with most of these entries, most of the reasons for choosing these are the same and we thought they were all good so we put them all in. Excellent. And yeah, uh, this one's cool. So it's it the is, yeah, this is nice, yeah. So um, again, I just really liked the look of this and I wasn't 100% sure what it well, represented, but then that was explained to me, and that just made it even more yeah, compelling. Yeah, exactly. I think. Do you want to? Well, yeah, the neutron highway obviously is the, it's the network of, of stars whereby you can go into the neutrons, yep. uh, into the uh, oh gosh, I've forgotten the name of of the, uh, the jet streams. That's right. And then and that will uh, give you a boost. So Gives you, you the boost. Yeah, first steam boost. Meaning nice you can go one. further on, and it's uh, a system whereby people have basically mapped routes that you can go along that will get you across the galaxy in faster time. So Absolutely. It's kind of very, very cool. So again, really nicely representing something that perhaps not everyone knows about. Like we might play Elite, mm. or, or even make Elite in way. some cases. So um, it's a good point because all of this has to be in law. Because if they look at it and then type in what it, what to find out what it is within Elite, then that was it. We it. we did not want anything in there that would just be um, confusing or not actually a thing. Mm. So uh, that was why that was. Uh, mm. Those were all good entries. And then final, 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 final from that. Is a different style. Do it for Earth. Yes, indeed. So it originally said do it for her on there. Actually. It did. We uh, we altered that a little bit. Um, but the reasons why it was a good entry was mostly to do with the really interesting sort of um, uh, design, really, with that Earth in the central, with the radiating lines. It just felt like it would look uh, very appealing on one of our one of our adverts, and and it was a nice bit of graphic design, really. Um, so that's why uh, that's why that made it in. Um, it's nice, and it's, it? it's just a, it, it looks good there, so yeah, 
Yes, unfortunately, Six Shooter, there are no free Conda at Hernads. I'm afraid that is not going to be happening. Um, because again, it would be a fun in in community joke. But again, as Chris has explained, if we put that in there and people went to hunt and looking for yes. it, that would be that would be bad news. So we were trying to be a little responsible with that. <laughs> yeah, a little bit responsible. Yeah. So well done, Matt, for all those. They were absolutely wonderful, and you've done a fantastic job. Uh, will there be any way to download these amazing arts? We will be uploading pictures of them uh, to the forums just after this. We've got a forum post that's going to go live explaining who's won as well. Cool. Uh, all right, next up we have, <coughs> excuse me, that's not me clearing my throat to do a big announcement, that's me actually dying a little bit. Oh, okay. Okay, we have Maxim with a very simple uh, design here. Hmm. Uh, again, works well with the hollow ads. Again, very, very crisp, very, um, very graphic there. Um, but the main reason I think this made it in might be because Simon was judging. So, oh, and he really likes. Well, no. So Simon, um, <laughs> long ago, it was Simon's idea, and a very good one it was too, to add the Voyager probes into oh, the game, and he modelled okay. it, and and that was very much something that wow. he drove. And it's a really cool thing, the fact that they're actually uh, in the right place that they would be in the future, having been sent out mm. years ago. So. Um, that's, I think, we all felt, and not just Simon actually, was a really good way of highlighting the fact that that is something that you can do in game. You can go and find those things and search for them. So, um, again, it's just a nice way of highlighting some of those slightly more obscure elements of the game and putting them yep. up on billboards for people to maybe find out more about. That's very cool. Uh, okay, the next one we have is by uh, Michael Muskowski. Nice. Michael Muskowski? And I believe he, Michael Muscastro says two. Okay. Uh, I've put it in three times. Uh, so let's see you what happens. Named it thrice, okay. Uh, or maybe even three then. We'll find out. All right, uh, first one here. Oh, that's called cool. another mention there of the original highway ramp. Yeah, yeah, but a completely different treatment, which I thought was, was, was interesting. Nice. Um, sort of nice and dynamic uh, with the, uh, the ship sort of coming out from the image that you there um, and the nice big a uh, bold font uh, at the top corner and again a slightly sort of almost like um, comic strip art look to this one um, mm -hmm. which again was nice we didn't want all of the holograms to feel like the same mm -hmm. people had designed them which was part of the reason for actually getting everyone to chip in and, and mm -hmm. help us with this so um, it's nice to have a different style excellent and the other one oh that's why because this is a very different format hold on it's okay don't worry Chris you're still there uh, the reason why is because we couldn't get uh, I couldn't get a shot of this one in game. I think we have one on on in when we've got it. I'm sure it'll show, show up yeah, in real indeed. game. But here's another one here in the middle. This is what else? Another one that's going in. Uh, say, uh, same person. So that's by Michael Muskowski. Well. This is a lovely bit of design, isn't it? That's that's just mm. a really nice image. That's mm -hmm. uh, like desktop background right there. It's, uh, it's lovely. So uh, yeah, that was definitely another. One is that a third appearance of the Beluga? Um, it's a popular old ship. It's a popular old ship. By the judges, apparently. <laughs> we all like the Beluga, apparently. Um, <clears throat> right, okay. Uh, we actually, so, um, oh, well, we'll carry on. We'll, we'll finish off before we, we say any, okay. any more of those kind of things. The next ones up are from somebody called Miles. 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 Uh, the, uh, let's find out what Miles has contributed. Ah, the series of four simple yeah. uh, ads that are kind of uh, direction, you know, a... Uh, do any of these feature the beluga, I'm trying to remember? No, <laughs> I don't think they no, do, they no. They, they, no yeah, that's good. I think it's sort of a series of lake on ships. That's correct, yes. Um, so, yeah, this again felt believable as an advert uh, and also timely in terms of addressing some of the gameplay that is actually in the game at the moment in terms mm -hmm. of the Thargoids and the new mm -hmm. ships that we're adding. So it was a nice, relevant, up-to-the-minute uh, entry, so we wanted to get that one in. And then second one. So yeah. this is a series done by Miles. Uh, if you are in the uh, chat, say hello. Uh, but if not, fair enough. Uh, we'll be in touch with everybody individually anyway. Uh, and yeah, so jump further. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. Yeah, again, just pithy little taglines there. Mm -hmm. And we like the use of the colour as well to emphasise further there and match with the ship. It was just a nicely put together package. Uh, nice screenshot of the ship. I kind of love the little... Um, a uh, little gleaming uh, glint on the cockpit there that's been added just to give it that sort of slightly um, advertising feel. Mm. That was nice. So, uh, yeah, these were strong. We got the third one, and same again there, yeah. Um, and also the, the different taglines suiting the ship and the nature of the ship. 
felt felt very good. Um, so that, those were all uh, really good entries. Hall more. Hall more. <laughs> In the Type Nine heavy. Yeah, Indeed. I mean, obviously uh, Miles has gone for the idea of it being uh, an advert for this. Exactly that, which is great. Uh, yeah, very very cool. Um, and next up, we've got still got a few more. Not not too many more to get through now. Oh, in fact, we might even be on the last one, and then we can show, show them off in game a little yeah, bit, great. and then uh, and just have a chat with people in the in the chat. But this one is from somebody called uh, Misha. I won't say uh, Misha's full name, um, but it's a lovely entry. Uh, we all agreed on this one. Uh, it is this one here? The Friendship Drive Charger. Huh. Yes. Uh, Universal Cars Graphics Friendship Drive Charger. Absolutely. So for many reasons, this felt like it was a nice thing to get into the game. Uh, a little bit of rainbow there. It doesn't hurt anyone. So this was uh, a really nice touch. Uh, the graphics are really nice. The, the way that they've actually represented the commander character there, I don't know how they did that, if that was a screenshot that they took and then um, they drew over the top mm. of it, or if they drew it freehand, but it's a really strong bit of graphic, and it reminds me a little bit of some of those sort of... Um, Slightly kind of uh, 1950s, 1940s kind of posters. Well, someone's saying uh, almost an Asimov feel to it, but then, ah, or, yeah, but yeah, also yeah. Uh, uh, just using that friendship drive charge thing with the with their rainbow and and just yeah, just positivity. And it's just a nice touch, isn't it? Yeah, exactly yeah. that. So um, and the reflection of the rainbow in the pilot's visor is a really sweet touch. Um, so yeah, I thought that was that was definitely going to make it in, uh, and uh, it's just the palette's really cool as well. Yeah. It's sort of like muted. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of pastels, so mm -hmm. it's nice, a nicely judged piece there. Yeah, great, and that is all. That is all of the entries that are going in for this time round. Is this something we would consider doing uh, again in future? Um, I can't announce that um, no, no, at no. the moment, um, but, but I certainly have found it to be a, a very positive experience, and I think we've got some really good stuff in the game out of it. So mm -hmm. I would have no problems with that mm -hmm. at all. And this is a nice route to. Obviously, we couldn't ask. Um, people to make other assets for the game that's super, super complex and, yeah, yeah. and all of that. So this is a nice, uh, simple little asset that, that people can make mm. and can uh, submit and we can, uh, as we've shown, get into the game. Yeah, and people seem to like the last one there as well. Music Pants is my favourite show, but always been great, great. Music Pants, did you enter any into these um, by any chance? But I'm just, I'm just interested, I'm not sure if that... Stepping on any, any toes or anything there. Um, mm. And, uh, but yeah, Lost of Bards is very, very good. Uh, please do it again. I wish I'd entered. Exactly. People, maybe people didn't didn't know about well, it. Well, this is it. Yeah. Um, if you missed it, then it, it would enough. be nice to do it again sometime. Six Shooters L three D designed some things. Winky face. Well, <laughs> interesting. Uh, all right. So what we've got now is, and well, the, and here we're going to see some of it in game right Great. now. So here we are in the game. So you can see the uh, very very similar again, but you just get to see, you see the idea of how it's going to flicker and how it's going to sort of its appearance in game a little more. Yeah, uh, and also I think when around. you see them sort of en masse, so in some of our levels uh, there are quite a few of these adverts dotted around some of our larger sort of installations. Here's one we didn't show We off. didn't mention that one again. Uh, and yeah. uh, this is the, uh, and, uh, to embarrass me, thanks uh, whoever, whoever made this one, uh, this was, uh, that was an extra one that was added in. Um, I don't have the name of the person who won it, but again it is in the forum post it's that we lovely one though, so um, I'm sure that will be in the post. Mm. Uh, congratulations to whoever made that one. Yeah. Uh, but as you can see, yeah, and he gets all nice close up to them. I am using in uh, uh, a deeper camera that that uh, you guys do not have access to, I'm afraid. Okay, so uh, you can see there the shader there that as you fly towards it. Yeah. We'll sort of add that little pixelization effect to it um, as you fly towards it. Also a little bit of red, green, and blue separation mm -hmm. to just give it that feeling of, uh, of a slightly um, hologrammatic uh, kind of uh, kind of vibe and style. Um, so yeah, as as you're flying around these many installations, you will uh, you will see your own work, mm -hmm. um, and other people's work, which is which is a really nice touch, I think. Yeah, and this is uh, obviously I've we've created this settlement here, <laughs> the settlement of adverts. Yes, so exist. Um, <laughs> absolutely. So Simon put this together for us this afternoon, yeah, just to cram great. everything into one level, mm -hmm. so we could easily see it all in one go. Um, but these will uh, these will be appearing at locations such as this. Uh, Boss Dog asks, when uh, will all these appear in game? Uh, will. It's not Will, it's Ed, but um, they, will appear, uh, they will appear in game uh, at the next update. So that is currently the plan, unless um, anything occurs that uh, alters that. Um, but uh, as you can see, currently they are in game, um, so unless anything mm -hmm. derails that, the prize for this to be in the next update. 
I don't believe we showed that we one either. Show that I'm one. so sorry. I'm so You've sorry. Just been skipping over people. Didn't sk I, look, honestly, that was not on purpose. Uh, it must be just because the list that I got was either incomplete or uh, again they will be featured in the, in the forums Absolutely. as well. Sorry about that, everybody. I didn't, I didn't, didn't, didn't realize they had the text. Very cool. Yes, it is very cool, isn't it? Indeed. Um, but yeah, I love that. I love the effect that it has when you. Get close up to it. It's very cool. Like the layers, you can see the layers clearly there as well. Look. Exactly. It's a nice, it's a lovely effect. Just uh, a little it, bit of parallax on there. Yeah. Oh, well, that that is <laughs> and on that very. Uh, that was very unexpected. It certainly was. Yeah. Under attack, apparently. Well, that was. We just got blasted out did, you know that I, did you know that I've been sitting there, Chris? Hmm. Since. About two hours ago, in that camera, waiting to do this, we so could have blown fact, up at any time. So the fact that it didn't right. happen, right. I wonder why I was getting shot. At. Anyway, I couldn't hear it; didn't have my headset on. Um, but as we've said before, yeah, it is an elite dangerous stream if I don't get blown up at least once. Is that right? So okay, that's why well, you took me happen. with you. I'm, I'm, you could have warned me. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, thank you, everybody. Loitering is an event. Said, <laughs> didn't play the warnings. <laughs> no, I didn't have. I didn't have any headset on. I'm so sorry, everyone. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the game too. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing the game. I think this should be absolutely awesome. Um, I'm very excited. Uh, oh, uh, Moon Sponsors, you made one for Sagittarius Iron and Azure Milk Ad. There must have been reasons why those didn't make in. You know, no, uh, like we said before, if you, if your ad didn't make it into the game, it's not because they weren't they were they weren't good. We there was so there were so many good ones. There might be a, a few reasons why it didn't quite work with the. Uh, there was there was some that just worked for the uh, the actual assets, and there was some where the tone we just felt we mm. wasn't quite right for elite. So it's a really tricky thing to get to get content mm. that that uh, works mm. for our game. So um, there were some really good ideas, but as usual, even internally when we do these things, we do a whole bunch of ideas, and then we pick the ones that we think uh, are most suitable. So uh, thanks for all your entries, and uh, we will do this again sometime. I think. Oh, will they be inside and outside the stations? I believe they will. Uh, both inside I believe so. Okay, so when you're in the uh, park, down in the hangar and things. I will double check that, and uh, but I believe that's the case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what ship is uh, what ship is that in the background? We are in a third lance. We are in a third lance. Mm. Not on it's a green really screen. Good, isn't it? No, at all. I'll, I'll, no. Uh, how dare you suggest such a thing? All right, well, thank you, everybody. I think that's uh, kind of all we've got time for uh, tonight. Um, but thank you, Chris. Pleasure. We'll be back in the future to talk all about um, future updates, um, do some more interviews with uh, people such as Chris and the rest of the team. Um, so do keep your eyes on all of our usual social media channels, whether that's the forums, whether that's Twitter, whether that's Facebook, whether that's Instagram, any of those places, um, because we will be sharing information uh, about the, the, the future of it very, very shortly. I like the soft tones that you're using with this closing hey, section. I'm, That's good. I'm winding just, it down. I'm winding it down mm. and also falling asleep. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, my throat is just giving up. Understood, understood. Sorry, Chris, but you are now infected. Oh, damn it. Well, thank you, everybody. Um, uh, I, I can't wait to see those in game flying around whilst not being shot at. Um, <laughs> but we hope you have a, uh, a wonderful week and we'll see you next time here on the streams. Thank you and goodbye. Bye bye. Bye.